Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we'll be showcasing how to make a metallic chrome layer style for you guys to use in Photoshop. On Twitter, I sent out a tweet showcasing what this layer style would look like when applied to different logos and you guys really seemed to like that, so I set a goal of a thousand likes on the tweet and you guys absolutely smashed that, so I said I'd make a video if we hit a thousand likes and we did that. So here we are today and uh, let's just get straight into it. I am a... Alrighty guys, so now that we are in Photoshop, first thing that we are going to do is just line up our canvas. Uh, just make a black background just for this. And then we're going to start off with text, so we're just going to type in some text basics, so just a tutorial or something like that. Uh, we're going to make that quite large, uh, make it centered, everything like that. And now we're going to start creating the layer style. Alrighty guys, so first thing you guys are going to want to do is pull up your FX tab. From here, go into your blending options and then pick bevel and boss. When in bevel and boss, you guys pretty much want to copy the exact same sort of setup I've got going now. The only main thing that you guys need to focus on is the contour. Because when using bevel and boss, the, uh, the depth and the size only matter on what sort of uh, thing you're doing. So if you're using text, it's going to be completely different to what you're using for a logo. But guys, let's get into how to make the gloss contour really quick. So what you guys are going to want to do is click on the thumbnail for the gloss contour. You guys are going to want to have around 8 dots in here so that you guys can play around with the sizes and make the shape that I've got here. Once you guys have placed 8 different dots just by double clicking along the line, what you guys want to do as in the order that I've got here is sort of make a devil's horn sort of shape, but I'll give you guys the exact numbers, just follow them as I go through them. So now that you guys have made the gloss contour, make sure that you guys also copy down the rest of the settings being the highlight and the shadow modes and then the bevel and boss will be ready for you guys. Now guys, down in the description I'm going to leave a link to a picture that you guys are going to need to download and then uh, open up in Photoshop just like I'm doing now. So make sure the canvas size is the exact same size as the picture. All you guys are going to want to do after this is go up to edit and then click on define pattern and then create that as a new pattern. Alrighty guys, so now that you have set up the pattern, jump back over to the other canvas that you guys have the text in, and now go back to your FX settings and click on Pattern Overlay. When you guys are in the Pattern Overlay FX, make sure to click on the Pattern Thumbnail and then click the pattern that we just created. From there, what you guys are going to want to do is play around with the size of the scale until it is like a dark blue sort of colour. Now what you guys want to do is add a gradient overlay and put the blending mode on color. Just make it sort of like a dark gray to a lighter gray and keep it on linear. And then from there you want to create another gradient overlay but this time a lighter blue to a darker blue and yet on color. But the opacity only around like 10 to 5. It's really up to your preference on how much of a blue tinge you want it to have. But personally I like a uh, very light sort of tinge. So the next thing you guys want to add to your layer style is satin. Now in here you guys want to grab a like pure white and then put it on a color dodge put it around 100% opacity and from here this is sort of where you guys can just play around there is no specific way they all pretty much end up differently so just go into the contour and play around with the curves um, add some extra sort of um, ups and downs that makes really unique sort of uh, satin colors and everything like that but pretty much just play around and you guys can create something really cool once you guys have played around with the contour, also play around with the distance and size is going to be crucial to making that sort of uh, metallic-y white sort of shine throughout the entire text or logo. Those two are probably the main things for the satin to play around with until it sort of looks really nice for whatever you're using it for. So from there, the uh, layer style is pretty much finished. Make sure that you guys are scaling your pattern overlay to almost a thousand. I made a mistake in the tutorial here at the start. That's why it's sort of uh, like a white shiny sort of thumbnail for the layer style. It should be like a dark gray. So make sure to scale it up to around a thousand. But yeah, guys, from here on, pretty much all I'm going to be doing is adding a 3D extrusion onto the text just to make it look a little bit nice. So you guys don't have to do this. This isn't a part of the layer style. But I'm going to quickly uh, speed this up so you guys can watch it and then we'll move on to how to make the logos look nice with the same layer style. Yes, I'm 
Alrighty guys, so now for how to apply the layer style to the logo. So first thing you guys want to do is of course grab your logo and then from there you guys are going to need to grab the exact same layer style that we just made. If you guys want to make that a preset for your styles, all you got to do is when you pull up your blending options or your FX menu, just click on new style and that will create that as a part of your new layer style uh, presets. Once that's done, apply that to your logo and pretty much from here, all you guys want to do is play around with the bevel, emboss, uh, the size and the depth and then play around with the satin and pretty much from there, that's about it. You play with the pattern overlay a tiny bit, just making sure it's nice and dark, not uh, like, like a white sort of shiny one like I um, said earlier. But pretty much from there, that's all you guys got to do, just play around and experiment because these don't uh, apply the same to every single logo or text, so it's up to you guys to make these ones look really nice. Uh, with all the logos that you saw from the Twitter designs at the start, every single one of them has different bevel and boss settings just because of the shapes and like curves and sharpnesses of each of the corners. Everything is different, so you guys need to play around and refine it till it looks good. But anyway guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Make sure to drop a like and a comment if you guys like to see more of this sort of stuff. But without further ado, it's been your boy Jordan, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, and I'm out.